Well, I've got a bit of an annoying cough, so if I have a cough, I'll just put it on the So apologies for that. Three men have died in a fatal collision near Maitland yesterday afternoon. The two-car collision occurred at about 4.45pm on Monday the 20th of November on the Spencer Highway near Bowgowan Road at Maitland. Sadly, both drivers died at the scene. A 59-year-old man from Moonta was the driver of a Toyota sedan. A 72-year-old man from Shido Park was the driver of an Isuzu Ute. His passenger, an 82-year-old man from Flagstaff Hill, was airlifted to the Royal Adelaide Hospital last night. Sadly, he died late last night. The Spencer Highway was closed so that major crash investigators could examine the vehicles and the scene. Tragically, this takes our road toll to 91. Ben, what else needs to happen? I mean, you know, we have these terrible accidents all the time now and uh, the road toll's 11 up. But what do you need to do? I think it really comes down to an acknowledgement from every driver uh, and every rider of a motorcycle and everyone who's walking or riding a bike on a road that the responsibility rests with them. Um, uh, the cause of these uh, fatal collisions normally comes down to driver or rider behaviour, something that a driver or a rider has done. It is rare that it is uh, some other occurrence that has caused a collision and some other occurrence that has caused a fatal. So it really does take an acknowledgement from every person, uh, no matter your age, male, female, no matter what part of life you come from, no matter your occupation, it is your responsibility to drive safe on the road and ultimately uh, the way you change your behaviour and drive on the road will um, ensure your safety. How disappointing is it for police to just see that number climb well past last year's number? I, look, um, I suppose the difference for certainly emergency services and police is that, that we actually focus on, on the number one. Like one person dying on our roads is a tragedy and that really does have a, a, quite a large impact. Um, yes, uh, 91 fatalities on, on our roads is um, deeply concerning, but we actually really worry about the next one. So what factors are police going to be looking at when they're investigating? So this collision, so we'll look at uh, the possible causes, we will look at the vehicle and we will look at the road surfaces, but we'll look at the probable causes and those or driver behaviour errors that lead to a majority of our fatal collisions. So that's things like speeding, drink and drug driving, distraction, um, seat belts and any hooning type behaviour. Is there anyone that stands out at the moment for this crash? Uh, so it's early days for the investigation but the intersection is controlled by a giveaway sign. Uh, the Moonta man was travelling on the main road and the two men from um, Flagstaff Hill and from Shido Park were on the um, intersecting road. So we'll be investigating why they went through the giveaway sign. Is it a possible of the fact, you know, they weren't locals, uh, one side of that is dirt, I'm not sure which side they were coming from, the other side is um, bitumen, but, you know, is, is the fact they weren't locals and perhaps didn't recognise the area uh, a factor there? Oh, look, we'll look into the full set of circumstances around this collision, but what we do know is with fatal collisions in the country, that country people and city people are victims on our roads, okay? So it's not about just about city people driving in the uh, need to um, be aware of the dangers on country going into schoolies and going into our Christmas period that we really do focus on those risks just uh, young uh, them to think about their journey um, you know uh, plan their trip allow plenty of time um, uh, enjoy their trip down there, make, make it an event to head down there, stop off at the local shops and get a pie, get a, get, get a coffee sh at the shops, something like that on the way at Strath or at Mount Compass. You know, really break their trip up. Um, with their mobile phones, put it in the back seat. Uh, you don't need it when you're dry, driving. You'll probably have someone else in the car with you so they can look after your mobile phone for you. Um, you know, if, you, if, if our youth do engage in drinking, to harbour we'd encourage them not to but if they do don't drive um, there are plenty of buses available and the shuttle buses that are provided are fantastic um, it's a bit of a party atmosphere on the bus 
enjoy that uh, group. Do you think that patrols are going to be doing different this holiday season to try and curb the road toll?